of Lent 5, Monday, Jesus and the Nice Young Man. These words the Lord spoke to all your assembly in the mountain from the midst of the fire, the cloud, and the thick darkness, with a loud voice. And he added no more, and he wrote them on two tablets of stone and gave them to me. Deuteronomy 5, verse 22. Dearly beloved, Moses relates to the congregation of the time that the Son of God spoke the words of the Ten Commandments, scored them on two tablets of stone, and gave them to him. Fire and the voice of God Almighty, the cloud and the presence of the Lord, thick darkness and the holy God. The people were filled with fear, and rightly so. The fear increased at the word given to them. It was the law. These were not, these are not, ten good ideas or ten suggestions. They are the ten commandments of the Almighty, eternal, just, righteous Lord God Almighty. They are to be fulfilled, not simply in outward act and restraint, but in the heart, mind, thoughts, mouth, and words. A rich young ruler bows down before the Christ and asks the eternal Son of God what he should do to inherit eternal life. Jesus, who knows the heart of all men and of this particular man, answers, You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not murder. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Do not defraud. Honor your father and mother. And he said to him, Teacher, all these things I have kept from my youth. Mark 10, verses 19 and 20. What do we make of this young man? Let's put the best construction on him and what he said. He is polite and sincere in both his initial question and his reply to Jesus. He's quite a nice, well-mannered kid, courteous and respectful to others. However, he is spiritually naive. He genuinely and honestly thinks that by having restrained himself from killing someone, committing adultery, and other acts of wickedness, he has kept God's law. By leading an outwardly moral life, and by being better than most of his neighbors, he imagines that he is justified before God. He has placed his confidence in himself and answers Jesus with a zeal that soars in anticipation of the Lord's commendation and reward. This fine young man is lost and outside the kingdom of God. If he dies at this point in his life, he will be in hell forever. The rich young ruler has not kept the law of God from his youth. He has not even understood the law. Pondering each of the commandments according to the word of God and applying such study to the experience of a sinful soul will quickly cause one to shudder and tremble. The terrorized soul either runs away or cries out for mercy. Listen and remember what the Holy Spirit wrote. Therefore, by deeds of the law, no human being will be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law, although the law and the prophets bear witness to it, the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no difference, since all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as an expiation by his blood to be received by faith. Romans 3 verses 20 through 25a. The law always accuses the old sinful nature. But you say, Jesus spoke the law to the young man and it did not accuse him. In fact, the young man sincerely says that he has kept the law. He doesn't seem to be accused. Stay tuned. Jesus will say more to him. Prayer. Lord Jesus, the law always accuses the old Adam who hangs about my heart. Grant me a true sorrow that I may cry out to you in faith. Then please, dear Lord, I beg you to send your word of forgiveness, pardon, and peace to call my soul. Amen. Hymn number 575, stanza 1. 
Before the Lord we bow, the God who reigns above, and rules the world below in boundless power and love. Our thanks we bring in joy and praise, our hearts we raise to heaven's high King.